Hello everyone, Ace here, and today let's talk about how Kamala Harris supporters have decided to try to push fabricated evidence to try to falsely prove that she worked at McDonald's. A claim that has of course come under scrutiny following a recent publicity stunt by Donald Trump where he briefly worked at a McDonald's in order to draw attention to the claims made by Kamala Harris that she used to work at McDonald's. Claims that Donald Trump clearly does not believe. In all honesty, that is where the story should have ended, with only one possible exception. That being, of course, provided that actual proof showing that Kamala Harris worked at McDonald's was provided. With this apparently in mind, Kamala Harris supporters decided to scour the internet to try to find anything and everything they could use to prove this claim, even if they had to completely fabricate said evidence. Which of course brings us quite cleanly to the subject of the image on display here, which Kamala Harris supporters believed was the end-all be-all proof that they oh so desperately needed. A seemingly vintage image from what appears to be the correct time period depicting what appears to be Kamala Harris in an unmistakable McDonald's uniform. Surely this was the end-all and be-all proof that Kamala Harris supporters needed to demonstrate that yes, she did in fact work at McDonald's. Unfortunately, there was just one flaw in this piece of irrefutable proof. It's false. No way. Not this time. We created it. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. It's a made up tale. It's a total fabrication. It never happened. It turns out that in their sheer rush to try to provide proof that Kamala Harris worked at McDonald's, Kamala Harris supporters began pushing instead a Photoshop, aka fake evidence, which of course produced the exact opposite effect of what was genuinely desired. It of course made people question all the more whether or not Kamala Harris worked at McDonald's in the first place, and the fact that her supporters are apparently reduced to creating and pushing fabricated evidence well, that itself becomes evidence to suggest that it's simply not the case. That Kamala Harris never actually did work at McDonald's. But that's not the only way in which this little plan from Kamala Harris supporters managed to backfire. For a start, it's worth mentioning that they photoshopped Kamala Harris's face over someone that happened to be white, which normally would not actually be of any concern whatsoever. However, since Kamala Harris supporters have been touting her as the diversity choice as far as presidential candidates, the fact that you could photoshop her face over a white person and it would still pass, or at least pass enough to convince Kamala Harris supporters, well that is going to result in people that aren't fans of Kamala Harris laughing at her that little bit more, as well as Kamala Harris supporters. Or at least it would, were it not for this matter backfiring in yet another way that is a bit more messed up. As it turns out, the original image was sourced from an obituary, from someone who has died of cancer. Meaning that this whole controversy has essentially linked that person's passing, and to some degrees people's memory of that person, to a bunch of idiots from the Kamala Harris campaign trying to use that obituary image to win points for their political camp. Needless to say, the harmless laughter at first has since been replaced with outright condemnation. This has also naturally been yet another PR disaster for the Kamala Harris campaign, though to be completely fair, there is very little evidence to suggest that the Kamala Harris campaign itself was involved in this little hoax. You know, aside from Kamala Harris repeatedly claiming to work at McDonald's. Nevertheless, this whole situation is almost certainly going to have a small but negative impact on Kamala Harris's chances for being elected. Realistically, there's probably only going to be a handful of people at this point who consider this behavior to be a truly deciding factor on who they vote for, or if they choose to vote in the first place. However, let's be honest, this whole situation isn't going to cause more people to vote for Kamala Harris, nor is it going to cause fewer people to vote for Trump. Fortunately, the election is only a few days away now, so we only have to put up with this nonsense for a little bit more until the votes are actually in. Or at least until the votes are cast. The actual results are probably going to take longer because, well, you know. Of course, I will continue to endeavor to keep my ear to the ground and keep you all informed should any more news come. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.